Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are having a guest appearance. This is Mander, everyone. My sweet little Mander. If you don't know me, this is my fiance Solomon. Okay, we're doing a mukbang today. We're doing some Indian food. I don't know if you guys are on TikTok, but I've been seeing it go viral, Indian food. I've eaten Indian food before. We've gone and I've had like curry chicken. We had that like a rice that's like a bunch of different colors. You get this chicken on a stick. Like we've had types it's of- It's not necessarily chicken on a stick. It's like barbecue, Indian barbecue chicken. It's not like shish kebabs. Shish kebabs. Mm, no, relatively it it's is. It's not on a stick, it's quartered. Like it has like the leg quarters. Well, that's in the wound. But you had it on a stick too. That same chicken, but it was on a stick like a shish kebab. I don't remember that one. Well, we've had Indian food before, but what's going viral is the samosas and tikka masala and butter chicken. We've had naan and all that. We love it. So we'll see if we like this. We've never ordered this. They're supposed to be both like tomato based. So I don't know what? You didn't tell me this. You said ah, it was going to be chicken. Surprise! Not tomato. tomato based chicken? So let's get started. I think this is our naan. I love naan. No, is fire. Yeah. We've never ordered from this place before. This isn't the same place we used to get it from? Mm -mm. So you, you ordered something we never had before from a place we never ate at. That's not YOLO. It. And today, while we do this mook thing, we're going to do a little Q&A, get to know one another. I didn't know about this either. How are you gonna ask me to be a guest on your channel and not tell me anything I'm doing on it? You should have asked before you agreed. You said eat chicken. <laughs> That's it. I ain't know it's about to be an interview. It's for them to get to I know. I wanted some chicken, now I'm on David Letterman. It's for my sweet subscribers to get to know us. I'm not that special. You are to me. Oh, sweet. That was nice. One of these is. Is that chicken in there? Yes. Where is the bone? There's no bone. This is the sauce for the vegetable mimosas. There's no chicken in there. Samosas. So please, relax. Oh. 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 The samosas. What's in there? I don't know. Where's this pork, Angela? There's no meat in there. What is this stuff with cheese? Then please, just, I'm not gonna tell you until we eat it because then you're not gonna, okay, and then I got an extra side of rice. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Here we go. It's pretty healthy. Yeah, so give me a fork or spoon. Okay, what should, I don't know which is which. You put the rice first. But I don't know which is what. We just gonna yeah. figure that out. Okay. Dude, you just eat it with the naan. I'm pretty sure. The, this one might be the tea and must go with curry. Okay. Yeah, maybe. Because it tastes kind of curry-ish. You can't go wrong with curry. Curry is fire. Every kind of curry. Korean curry, Indian curry, West Indian curry. That's all the curries, right? Korean. Korean? Korean curry, yeah. Korean curry. Really? There's Japanese curry, there's Thai curry, there's Caribbean Thai curry. curry, there's Indian curry, there's. Yeah. Well, curry is fire. You can't really mess that up. Yes, you can. Well, yeah, if you put too much curry, but anybody can just do you make a plate? I thought you was going to make my plate. I want to start eating and I want us to start QA. Yep. Yes. You guys Welcome don't. to 2022, where our fiance has to make his own plate. You didn't even sign up for this. You're supposed to be eating this with the naan anyway. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. What's funny? Nothing, baby. Thank you. I didn't realize how big these plates are. Yeah. They're freaking huge. My plate bowl. So you dip it in the naan? Yeah, I, no, you take the naan and dip the naan. You don't dip it in the naan. Okay, you dip the naan in the, in the what's in that? Yes. Where's the chicken at? In there. So is the chicken supposed to be eight or is it I'm just gonna, flavored? I'm just going to eat it without you now. No, come on. Nope. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, I think this is butter chicken. It's like fufu. Try this one with me. Except not fufu. 
Let me pray. Dear God, thank you for this food. Please bless it. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. It's not your real blessing, but I'm gonna let it slide. Oh yeah, I need that, yeah. Okay. Blessing. Mm. This butter. I think I like that one. Here. This butter. Try this one. That's definitely the butter chicken. This is tikka masala. I think I like the tikka masala. This yeah. kind of get thick when you pull up in here, though. Mm -hmm. I like okay. this one. You don't really notice that. It looks like all water, but it's actually kind of thick up in there. Yes, sir. The butter chicken not bad. Right, but this is busting. The tikka masala got more flavor. Bust bust. So if somebody had like a sensitive palate, I'd be like, hey, you need to get that butter chicken. But if you like a robust flavor in your mouth, man, you need to get that. How you say it? Tikka? Tikka masala. Not marsala. Tikka masala. Tikka masala. Tikka masala? Tikka masala. <laughs> tikka masala. Yeah. All right, man. Okay, let's yeah, yeah, let, me, let me get that tikka masala. We'll answer the questions. It's just so they can get to know us. Okay. Do you have any brothers? Yes, I have two brothers. They're both older. <clears throat> oh, I got it. This is a dude. This light skinned dude named Darius. He looks like a Mexican, but he black. What about him? My brother, man. He looks like Hispanic, though. You would never know. Mm. Do you have any sisters? Yes, I have one little sister. Yep. I have two sisters. They're older, too. Uh, Rhea and Deasha. Okay. What's your favorite food? Mine is... What's your question? Like... I would say... <coughs> taco... Listen, okay. I lived in Japan for a little bit and they make taco rice over there. It's just like a chipotle bowl. I lived bowl, in Japan it's, for a little bit. It's basically like a chipotle bowl. It's taco, but over rice. That's my favorite food. Yours? Well, some of us <clears throat> got spicy. Hold up. You know, it's good though. I really like the tikka masala. I don't think I'm gonna eat the red chicken. It just kind of smacked me in my throat. It's good though. And we gotta try the samosa. But yeah, you know, everybody ain't had the experience, you know, or the opportunity to live in Japan. But you know, I like. But I like my favorite food. But I mean, we're talking about favorite food overall, favorite dinner food, favorite dessert. Favorite. Your favorite food. What is your favorite food? Cheesecake. Okay. I can eat cheesecake for, for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for snacks. Sugar free cheesecake. Cheesecake with graham cracker as the crust. Cheesecake with some other stuff as the crust. Any kind of cheesecake, I'm going to eat it. Is, I love it. Okay. What kind of phone do you have? iPhone 13. iPhone 13? Yeah, how'd you get that? Let's um, talk. How'd you get that iPhone 13? Huh. Verizon was having a special and said trade your phone in and we'll give you iPhone 13. So I traded my phone in and got an iPhone 13. What phone are you trading in? My 11. And who got you that? You. Dad, yeah, was it just like a random gift or was it for a specific day? For Mother's Day. So you traded in your Mother's Day gift <laughs> for another phone. That's crazy. Mm hmm. I got a 12 Max. You know. Something slight, nothing ain't too crazy. Do you speak any other languages? Yeah. I'm just gonna say no. I'm fluent in Ebonics and English. For those of you that don't know, Ebonics is the urban vernacular or slang. Cold Swiss King. So yes, I speak two languages, Ebonics and American English. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Mm. Well. I would probably say like freeze dried octopus in Japan. My, um, I have a family friend, her name's Mariah. She was like, oh yeah. She said it was something else, like some chip or something. We were in Japan and she was like, just try it. Ate it and then afterwards she started laughing and I was like, what? And then she told me it was octopus. Hmm, that's pretty good. Octopus is actually really good, so that's pretty dope. Don't take it all. You're not even eating it. What's I you? am, I put it over here. That's crazy. Eat that. I don't like that one that much. <laughs> it's good, but this so one is better. You eat it. <laughs> you eat it. 
the guest, so you really need to, yeah. I need to eat first. We need to eat this samosa. Let's try it. Mm. I'm gonna tell you guys a secret after we eat this. Do you wanna dip it or you just wanna eat it? Just wanna eat it first. Let me feed you my love. You about poke my eye out with that. <laughs> No, I wanna hold it. No, baby, I wanna feed it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not, and I don't wanna spit it and get it on your hand. What is this? Baby, please eat it. There's gotta be some spinach or something here. Mm -mm. Potatoes. Why are you always trying to feed me potatoes? I just have potatoes. Baby, God. It's only two of them. We're just trying it. It's good. It's good? The dough, whatever dropped around this, is really flavorful. It's supposed to be crispy, I've seen. This one's kind of soft. It's probably because, you know, it was probably in the box. The steam got on it. You like it? So it's, I mean, I don't love it, but it's not bad. It's take, pretty good. Take another bite. You take a bite. Wait after you, baby. You're the guest. One more bite. All right, take a bite. One more bite. No, no, that's not the sauce. Oh, try it with the sauce that it comes with. Sure. I got to take bites when I don't. I'm not. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. That stuff is good, though. That's what I be putting on my chicken when I get it. They got some, they got yellow sauce too, like yellow, green, and orange. Yeah. It's better without the sauce though. Okay. The sauce adds like a fresh, like after they like fresh. So, in the samosas, it's potatoes and peas. Solomon doesn't like peas. That's why I said hello, see you guys afterwards, but I wanted you to try it. I can't trust you. You liked it though. Look, so I, look, now you like peas. I don't like it no more. You're welcome. I don't know. You're welcome. Nope. I'm not finishing that. Wait, what's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Uh, I think one time, I was at uh, my babysitter's house. I was probably like, I thought I ate. Maybe nine. It has some frog legs. Remember? I was hesitant to eat it, but he was like, no, nah, I'm gonna taste just like chicken. It tastes just like chicken. It's a little chewier, but it's pretty good. And it actually like looked like frog legs. Like it wasn't chopped up or nothing. It was literally like the back legs of a frog. It was pretty busting though. Yeah. How old are you? I am 28 years old. I hey. am 25 years old. Fun fact, my birthday is February 15th. Solomon's birthday is February 13th. Aquarius game. Where do you see yourself in five years? Mm, I'll be 30. You'll be 33. Yeah, first. Cheers. Water. Hmm? What was that about? Cheers, clean water. Why did you say water? Because that's what we're drinking. <laughs> Wait, what, they, what would this be? Coca Cola? They might have asked. Now they know. Myself in five years, I see myself probably buying a house. Mm -hmm. yeah, I could see that probably happening. we better be married by then. Um, we might have another kid. Should be might. I will be promoted at my job a couple times, and I don't think we'll live here in San Antonio anymore. Yes, we will. In five years, this will be in Texas. I didn't say we wouldn't be in Texas. I said we wouldn't be in San Antonio. Five years. I see myself as being pretty heavily involved in the community. You know, uh, not necessarily have my own nonprofit, but working for this nonprofit in the community. You know, helping kids out, helping homeless people out, anything to help people. Uh, help me. Do you not see a life? Help me hand. Alright, five years I wanna be really involved in the community. I wanna be able to like I wanna have enough clout in San Antonio to be able to go wherever I want, know whoever the owner is. Not necessarily get in free anywhere, but just know the right people. You know? Know all the players. Be plugged in. That's what I want in five years. Players like the NFL players? No. Wait, there's no NFL team here. It's not and no, not NFL oh. players. Know, know who make the city shake and move. Like, know anybody that needs to be known, I need to know them and they need to know me too. I make the city shake and move. Okay, baby. And that's that. What's the next question? What's your favorite color? Mine is pink. Purple. 
Hey, he's what? What kind of movies do you like? I like a good thriller. Yes, yeah. I like drama, romance, and nope. sad stuff. Um, I'm, I would never be like, oh yeah, I want to see a comedy movie because it, I really don't find a lot of things funny, if we're being honest. Listen, Angela is going to anything that's going to make you cry or make you sad, that's what she's going to watch. Like if somebody died at the end, like Fault in Our Stars, mm. she loves that movie. Mm. The Notebook, mm. she loves that movie. Perks of Being a Walker, mm, speak to she me. loves that movie. Mm. The Titanic, mm. she loves that movie. Well, what's the, what's the other one? I'm this mother sad. There's some sad stuff out there, but I can't think of. Dear John, mm. Charlie St. Cloud, all of that. I've stuff. never seen that. I thought we seen that together. What's the movie? Who you saw that? Anyway. Who you saw um, Charlie's Echo? I don't know, but hold on. The Curious Case of Gilbert Grape. That was a fire oh, movie, though. God. That know. movie was fire. I didn't hold it. But me personally, like, she like a bunch of sad stuff. Me, I like action thrillers. I don't even know what this genre is, but anything Quentin Tarantino make, I'm watching it because I love his movies. You feel me? So anything Quentin Tarantino make, I'm watching. Uh, another, action thrillers and sci-fi for me. Another fun fact, we like to watch scary movies and Sally gets scared. <laughs> I don't get scared. I just like to be at peace when I go to sleep at night. I don't get in my brain <clears throat> thinking about some crazy stuff because no, I'm trying to That's not peaceful. what we're talking about. I'm trying to find my inner... That's not what we're talking about. When the heart. movie's going, this is Solomon. And that's Cap. I don't be doing that. Yes, you do. And no, then he'd be like closing his eyes, and when it's like jump scares, he'd be like, nah, nah. No, I don't do that. Now, when it comes to jump scares, I do be like, oh, nah, hey, nah, bro. And I'm that dude. I talk to the movie. He so, talks through <clears throat> the movie. Yeah. I do. What kind of music do you like? Mm. I love R&B. And all that old R&B, like the 90s R&B, 2000s R&B, like between 2000 and 2010. Doesn't tend to now, it's a little shaky, but R&B is my favorite. I like all types of music except country, but hip hop, uh, R&B, trap, any kind of trap, any kind of uh, electronic house music or EDM house music, um, jazz is dope. Rock and roll is fire, and not this new rock and roll. I'm talking about like old school, like Led Zeppelin kind of rock and roll is fire. Um, yeah, I like all music basically except for country. I'll leave it at that. Another for that. I want to drop a Christmas country album. Next question. It's coming to an end. I see you stop eating. Are you done? Yeah, I'm kind of full. It was busted though. Mm -hmm. Peas kind of hurt my tummy. What did you Last question. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to wrap it up. Me and Sally are working from home and we got to go to work. Last question mm -hmm. is <clears throat> Who's your favorite person in the world? Mm. My favorite person would have, like, do I have to know this person? Yes. It's either going to be myself or your mom. Your mom, mad cool. Your mom, <laughs> mad cool. Yo, she cool as hell. That's my homie right there. Me and Perms are my homie. What about me? I mean, you, hey, you got a ring on your finger. You, you up there. But you ain't number one. Oh, this is not You're my favorite person, babe. In your mind, I love you. I love you too. That's our little Q&A. Hope that gave you a little insight on us. <gasps> We're gonna do like some more vlogs and travel videos. You'll see more of him, but this gives you some insight on him. Uh, if you didn't if know, the people that been here before, they know that I was To say here. that, if you didn't know, if you're new, me and Sally used to have a YouTube channel called As We Are. And I took it over because Solomon didn't want to make videos anymore. So now it's, it's my case. channel. I hey, hey, working. hey, excuse me. The star of the show is talking. The, the guest, quiet. The star? So. I'm the one that got you into making YouTube in the first place. Like what are you talking about? Channel. I'm talking about some the star. Girl. CYA. Again. He's here guest starring because he didn't want to make videos anymore, so I just said I'll do a channel of my own, so here we are. But you'll get some little dosages of Solomon here and there. And yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed our mukbang. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell a friend, tell your friends, tell your friend, tell your friend. Come follow your girl. I'll be safe out here, man. Because it's all about Angie. And that's just that. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Keep your head on the swivel.
sometimes I'm not sure what to say.